<laughs> What's up, YouTube? Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. Today we got the old, uh, well, not old. It's a new, it's a new boat. It's a rigger, the mini rigger that we, we did the review on, the unboxing. And and I was kind of doing some setups with my, my motor, ESC and everything, and got the feeling around, and it's kind of, it's kind of softer than I thought originally thought it was. Uh, you see how see it's soft there? Only on the on the larger flat spots. It's got soft spots. So we're going to actually epoxy. We're going to use some epoxy. I've already got it weighed out, and we're going to kind of reinforce it with this chop strand mat. I also want to epoxy in around these outrigger boom tube holes kind of reinforce that give it some uh some structure so we're gonna we're gonna get started on it i was thinking about using this old uh chip brush i might go with well probably gonna use both of them why not stick around don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good good uh hit the bell to get notified for future bills future projects uh, yeah, yeah. Rainy day. Rainy day here in North Carolina. So, I'm going to do some epoxy work. So, I'm just going to kind of get this epoxy in the boat. Going to get it all moved around in here. Get a good coat on it. I want to kind of go as light as I can with this epoxy. I don't... I don't want unnecessary extra weight in this boat we're going oh that was genius <laughs> that was genius now i gotta put two gloves on oh you're a dummy <laughs> big b the big dummy <laughs> oh that sucks i hate a wet brush all right i'm gonna try to try to go light on it and get the most structure that i can with the using the, the least amount of epoxy I do like epoxy it, it, it cures really slow so you got plenty of time to work with it this is a FRP rigor fi fiber reinforced plastic uh, since it's an epoxy hull, we cannot use fiberglass in this boat. Fiberglass will not stick to epoxy. This boat should be fast, and if we have any blowovers, we don't want the blowovers to, to just shred our newly built boat. So we're going to definitely reinforce this bad boy. Uh, this thing, it thing, it should get around 60, 60 mile an hour. And when you have a blowover at 60, especially with this thin, thin layup they used, and, and it looks like they only used one layer of wove mat. Wove mat is not as strong as chop strand mat I did it again <laughs> so we're gonna put that chop strand in and get some reinforcement going here see I got tape over my my boom tube holes kind of making like a epoxy dam basically so when we're brushing that brush over it it's not gonna like leak out the sides and ruin the finish of the boat but we're really going to reinforce it now that i found that it's only one ply of, of wove cloth epoxied in over this plastic 
Now you can, you can paint a FRP boat, but you've actually got to go and sand basically the whole top layer off this plastic coating all the way around this boat to get the best paint job to use it uh conventional paints if you want to use uh like they have epoxy paints that will actually stick to this frp plastic uh, so you wouldn't have to sand it all down to the bare the bare uh epoxy all right so so I'm gonna go ahead and put my mat in here. Quit, quit jacking my jaws. Put my mat in. I'm gonna lay it right down. Just lay it right into uh, the bottom of this this hole here. All right. I didn't go all the way to the back because I'm actually gonna put a couple pieces of um, thicker mat in for the transom. Get some nice nice structure going on. I'm gonna wet my brush up so the hairs don't stick to it. And we're gonna just wet this wet this uh, cloth out. Wet it out the best we can just like we did on the on the motor mount. If you guys seen my motor mount tutorial basically gonna do it the same way. You guys see how the mat has like a white tint and then once you wet it out it starts to clear up and that's when you know you're starting to get enough epoxy like I said we don't want to put any extra weight in here that we, we we can if we can help it so I'm not gonna wet my brush out super heavy and, and just like basically pour it in here or nothing we're gonna use the bare minimum amount of resin that we can see it Already, if we, we were using fiberglass in here, it, it would already be kicking off and I'd be freaking out oh, already. But this epoxy is nice. It's 24 hour slow cure, so it gives you time. It gives you time to work with. And it's stronger than fiberglass, which that's a bonus. That's why I went with this, this hole. I mean, it's a generic company, but it looked nice. Especially right when I got it, I was kind of excited about it. Put any misleading information out there for, for my, my subscribers. Uh, we, I've got a channel I'm trying to build. And I'm trying to teach people things. So I don't want to put any misleading information out. So I may start doing my, my reviews after the fact. So I'm just going to wet it out real good. You don't want no air bubbles. Um, might be a kind of a boring video for some of you, but some of you might might actually learn something from it. Make sure you don't have no air bubbles in it. Take your time. You got plenty of time if you're using epoxy. So take your time. And it looks like they actually tried to reinforce. You know, they put a little extra cloth it looks like there, but uh, not what we need. So. I might have a little bit of a hard time getting the front ones. That's why I put the tape over the holes so we can make like a little dam and hopefully, uh, you know, get lucky and get some cloth up there with some resin on it. Really hard to get to. It's tight up there. Tighter than a mosquito cha-cha. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably going to end up putting some foam up here. I'm going to have to have some flotation in this thing, as small as it is, and as much weight as we're putting in this boat. Uh, I think my epoxy weighed up to be one ounce. One ounce of, of epoxy I put in here. Total weight. I could tell this is gonna be perfect for this but this is what it needed really this is what it needed when I did the unboxing I, I did show it had some flex on the on the sides 
but I didn't realize it had that much on the bottom. So if anybody, if you guys end up getting this boat, definitely think about uh, strengthening up the interior. Let's do the transom next. I've just got some small pieces that I tore off. I don't like to cut my cloth. I like to tear the edges. It lays down better around corners. So I try to tear a couple of little squares. See how the outside of it's all raggedy and then this one's cut? I, I really don't like cutting my corners. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to get it to lay down around the edges. So what I do is take a little bit and pull a little bit of the cloth off and I'll save this stuff for like the boom tubes perfect example for for this stuff right here just that loose hair all right let's get us a little bit of epoxy back here okay I'm gonna put that cut edge the cut part toward the top and we'll take that the, the hairy part and put it uh, like wrap it around the back transom to the bottom of the boat smaller brush just to make sure all my hairs are laid down so I don't have a lot of sanding to do since we can't get a roller in here take these little hairs and put those in around the boom tubes See how I did that? It don't have to be a sheet. You can use them hairs loose, loose like this. And it will, it will do more than you think it will. See, I gotta wait. I gotta watch my the thickness also because it's tight in this boat for all the big electronics I got. <laughs> so, gotta watch how thick I make it. Make sure I got plenty of room in here still. Right on this, right over the boom tube. We could drill out the access later. I'm gonna try to get this little piece up front. front tube oh sorry I can't get you guys a good angles tough I'm just kind of like working my brush real hard up there hopefully it lays down oh yeah it looks like it is all right we're gonna do that again for the other side
it. Let's see, I'm just kind of tapping it, keeping my keep my brush moving, like dabbing it. Best technique. And it'll lay down if you keep it going the same direction and you just dab it as fast as you can. I was gonna just run it like it was, but knowing my my terrible driving, I'm gonna hit something. And I don't want it just like rip my whole boat apart. Oh man, have y'all seen the uh the new pro boat? My god y'all that new pro boat 42 blackjack 42 8s with a firma 8s in it now i don't take care too much for that firma mess this whole spectrum deal especially after everything's going on with arma all their arma cars are having problems with the bearings and escs but it's got a 46 series motor Should be a beast. Might get it. Might get it. So, and it's not bad. It's an affordable boat. Five ninety nine eight S. Five ninety nine for a forty two inch eight S capable catamaran. And it's and it's slick looking. They got an orange and black, and they got a white and black. And it is slick. Gotta know when to call it quits. Gotta know when to call it quits, B. Quit messing with it. You're gonna mess it up. I swear I have a hard time give it, putting the brush down. And if you keep messing with it, with it, if you keep tinkering with it and, and trying to spread it out, sometimes you do more harm than good. When you get it all in there, sometimes, you, yep, like that. I just gotta stop. You gotta stop <laughs> all right that's good let me show you what it looks like oh that should beef it up that should beef it up big time i know you guys can't see it but that good but it is it beefed it up big time see that i got it everywhere nice and thick i don't think it'll need a second one I think that's going to be good. I got the boom tubes nice, solid looking. Yeah, we'll hit it with a little bit of sandpaper, knock the little hairs off, the little fibers. We got two, two layers in the back and one in the front. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, she done. Mm-hmm. Arma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Looks good. Everything's nice and tight. Laid down nice. Gonna wait for it to cure out. Hmm. Should be ironclad now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see none sticking up. Looks good. I hope this helps you guys out. Hope you guys could uh could use this little bit of information for for your projects, for your hobby. But thank you guys for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Ring the bells and to get notified for future builds, future projects. As always. Thank you for watching.